Well, welcome everybody to the uh, very first video podcast of the PR Warrior. My name is Trevor Young um, and I just bought a uh, flip cam yesterday and uh, looking forward to uh, getting into a bit more on the, on the video side. Um, topic for today is to uh, talk a little bit about this book Power Friending by Amber MacArthur or Amber Mac as she's best known professionally. Uh, Amber's been around the social media traps for quite some period of time. She's, she is an expert, she's a professional in the space um, and I listen to her often on a, um, a video podcast called, uh, that she's been running for quite some time with a guy called Leo Laporte called, um, it's called Net at Night, a uh, little at sign. Uh, I believe that's changed now in the last week or so called, the show's called The Social Space, but uh, check it out if you're into uh, what's happening digitally and in the social web. Anyway, Power Friending, I, uh, I wrote a book review for this, um, this publication, newly released publication for Marketing Magazine, um, so if you want to see the written version, it's on um, marketingmag.com.au and hopefully my verbal um, review is as consistent as what I wrote um, and submitted the other day. So that's up online now. Power Friending, um, the subtitle, Demystifying Social Media to Grow Your Business. Now it's not a bad read, I, I mean I read a lot now on the iPad, um, but I do love um, analog, I do love a physical book. And look at the size of it, it's a nice good size. It's Listen, it's a really quick read. It's a very broad overview and an introduction to the social web and how you can use it for your business or cause or your issue or your personal brand. Um, if you've been in, probably the main criticism is if, um, there's nothing wrong with the book. It's just that it's, if you've probably read about the social social media a fair bit, um, looked at other books, been reading blogs, etc., uh, you might find this a little bit on the basic side. Um, now that's going to be good for some people. If you want a really broad overview, it's got the history of, of the social web, it's got the, the hits and misses, the social, you know, the social media successes and the failures. Um, it covers a lot of the tools, goes quite in depth on, on tools, um, probably a bit too much actually if you're looking at, um, they've got quite a few pages on, on actually the nitty gritty of podcasting and the tools involved as well as with video. Um, but my advice is if you're going to go down that path anyway, you'd probably buy or get a, an e-book or, or a book that's more specific on a podcasting or on video uh, and there's plenty of good blogs out there. Um, got a lot on the execution as well, very light on the strategy which is fine um, and some of the case studies date back to about 2007 and 2008 which in, in the social media space is, is kind of like eons ago. So once again if you've, if you've studied up on social media and, and read a fair bit you might find this a little bit light on uh, but if you're after a um, if you're after a really broad overview a nice introduction uh, it's it's a pretty good read uh, and, and I, I come from the school of thought that you always pick up good ideas as well even if even if you you know you follow uh, the, the, the industry or the area uh, quite significantly and then you read a book and you, if you get a couple of good ideas or some you know she has got some case studies in here that are quite interesting um, then it, it's it's you know you haven't got anything to lose really so power friending um, Amber Max currently out in Australia she's uh, speaking at what's called the SMART S-C-H-M-A-R-T the SMART marketing conference uh, in Melbourne tomorrow April 4th and also in Sydney I believe it's on the 6th so uh, check out Amber Mac uh, in that regard. Uh, well, I, I guess I'm on books. This, this one's come out a this came out late 2009, probably in Australia, probably early early last year. But if you're wanting another broad book overview type, um, I just dug this out. I haven't read this for a little while, but I, I know I devoured it when it first came out. Uh, Mitch Joel um, he runs a company called Twist Amage. And he also has a, a, a podcast and a blog called The Six Pixels of Separation, and he's He's uh, built that into a uh, into a book as well. Really great uh, title. I love it. And it's about everyone is connected. Connect your business to everyone. That's a general overview one as well about where the world's headed in terms of what, how technology is uh, changing the uh, the way we connect and, and communicate and collaborate uh, with each other and therefore interact with brands and, and causes and issues. So that's worth a look to if you're looking broader. Um, uh, makes good, um, I guess, a good book. Uh, 
end to this one. And I haven't got it at the moment. I think I've lent it out to someone, which reminds me I must get it back. Um, there's a guy called Chris Brogan who's who's one of the top bloggers in the world. Have a look at chrisbrogan.com and he's got a really good book. Once again, a small read. It's, it, 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 I believe it's a lot of his... Um, it's collated from a lot of his blog posts over the years and he's done quite a few and it's social media 101, uh, 101, 101. So check that out, Chris Brogan, social media 101. So they're good, nice introductory term, uh, tombs, is that the word? T-O-M-E-S, books. Um, and if you're after something a little bit meatier, um, you, you know, you've probably read a bit about the social web, you might be blogging or on Twitter and, and, and involved and uh, have read a bit about the space. Um, if you want something media, go out for something like uh, real-time marketing and PR. Those who are uh, regular readers of the PR Warrior blog uh, will know that I'm, I really dig reading David Newman Scott, who, funnily enough, is out in Melbourne next week too. So uh, he's been in Australia for a week or so um, doing some seminars around the country. Um, must be that time of the year. But real-time marketing and PR is a... Um, is a really good book and, and it's, it's it doesn't sort of get into the basics of social media but it's really talking about the uh, well as he says how to instantly engage your your market connect with customers and create products that grow your business now so he talks Dave talks a lot about real time being able to respond in real time and I guess if something that's something the social web has done um, is that there is an expectation from the marketplace now that that um, companies and brands and organisations will respond to consumers in real time. Things unfold in real time. And I think particularly in the PR industry and marketing and business generally, we need to understand that speed. There's no longer you know, deadlines for a newspaper going out you know, 24 hours hence or whatever for the next day because everything's happening now. Um, and Twitter has obviously had a, a large say in that. So real-time marketing and PR, uh, well worth a read and um, David's other book, uh, he wrote the classic, um, another good broad overview introduction to um, writing and doing and producing content for the social web. Uh, it's called The New Rules of Marketing and PR and that's a few years old. It's been updated since but it's certainly worth a look as well. So um, check that one out. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll be doing a few more of these uh, video posts, uh, but until the next one, cheers, uh, talk to you later, bye.